Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to show you this really cool colorful text effect that you can create in Adobe Illustrator. I was inspired by the Apple Spring Loaded event where they had these screensavers and wallpapers with the word hello. So this video is actually inspired by that. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. This video is sponsored by Envato Elements where you can find millions of digital assets for your projects. If you guys enjoy this video, there are thousands of high quality Illustrator templates that are on Envato Elements. And so if you want to sign up and get unlimited downloads for a cheap monthly fee, make sure to check the link in the description. So right here we're in Illustrator and I decided to choose two colors. You could choose more. And so I created these circles with the ellipse tool. So you can uh, select the ellipse tool, hold shift and drag and just choose a color. And so I decided to choose green and blue because they're colorful and they're contrasting colors. You want to make them as different as possible. First, select the pencil tool and just write out your text, right? So we're going to write hello. And you also want it as smooth as possible, like rounded and not so sharp like this part right here. But that's fine in order for this to be really smooth. So I'm going to show you the basic way and how you can make it a little bit better. So you want to highlight uh, these two circles, press on object, blend, make. And once you do that, it'll create this gradient. Now you want to highlight both the text and the circles. And you want to do the same thing, except you want to go to replace spine. And here you can see the most basic version of this. However, this isn't the best way you could do this. One thing you'll notice is the thickness of this stroke will be completely different depending on the difference in size between the circles and the text. For example, if I make the circle smaller or the text bigger, the stroke or thickness of that text will be a lot thinner. So we just made it a little bit bigger. We're going to do the same thing. And now you can see it's a little bit thinner of a stroke. And the reason why is imagine that this circle, the thickness of this circle is following this path, right? It's like it's being applied to this path. Obviously, if this is too big, then the text will be pretty thick. So that's the most basic version of this effect. I'm going to show you a slightly modified version. So the slightly modified version is using gradients and moving apart these circles a little bit. You'll see a difference in how we do this. So we're going to go to gradient here. I'm going to double click on it and we're going to make a gradient from green to yellow. So I'm just going to click on it. I already have it made here. And then we're going to do the same thing with the blue one, except it's going to be like blue to purple or something. So I'm going to apply this gradient here and just change the colors. So maybe blue to pink. So here we have even more contrasting colors and there's a big difference here. So now when we do this same blend, so go to object blend and make, you can see that there's circles in between because the colors are so different. Now we want to highlight all of them, go to blend again, except we're going to go to blend options, go to specified steps and type in 1000. Now we have that same gradient, except we had to uh, change the settings a little bit. And now when you highlight the text, you'll see a little bit more depth with the colors because now there's a gradient within a gradient, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go over to blend and replace spine. And here you can see there's a big, big difference and there's a lot more depth and a lot more character to it. And one cool thing you can do as well, so I'm gonna undo this, is you can use this almost as like a brush. So if you double click on it and select on the pencil tool now, you can see as you draw, it'll use more of this what I mean by this is when you first write out anything, it'll just be purple. But now you just used up the purple. You actually don't see purple here. And now if you write the letter B and then C, then D, you can see the left starts turning green. It's because we're using more of this gradient. And now if you actually see the gradient, it's only green left. So that's a cool way you can use this as like a brush as well. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. This is a really cool effect and I really like the look of this. Once again, check out Envato Elements in the description. Also, if you're a student or teacher and want to get Adobe Illustrator as well as all the other Adobe applications for over 60% off, make sure to check the link in the description for a promotion. And yeah, hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.